I'm home. Hey, welcome back. You must be tired. I've got the bath ready for you. Yeah. I thought about what you might want to eat for your birthday dinner, and I wasn't sure what you might like. But you said that you've been stuck on cheese recently, so I made a lot of side dishes with cheese. Was that okay? I made cheesy potatoes, steak with cheese, and some salad with feta cheese. There's lots more. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Huh? What is it? I want a divorce. What? My name is Nina. I married my husband, Kasayuki, just seven months ago, and we're currently pregnant with twins. The due date isn't that far away, and I thought that I was the happiest woman in the world. I thought we were enjoying marital bliss, but it seems that I was just being naive. I was just full of myself and had no idea of what was to come. Yikes, the sun's rays are really strong today. It's a good thing for the laundry, since it won't take long for everything to dry, but it's not so good for my skin. I'm almost 30, so I should be careful. Hey, you guys, isn't it really warm today? You must be enjoying the sun in there, too. Guess what? We can run around and play together in the garden when you're both big enough. Won't that be fun? Oh, I completely forgot. I still got loads to do. And I forgot to buy milk. I better ask Kazuyuki if he can buy some on his way home. We were lucky to welcome Mr. Sato, CEO and President of Money Robophone, for an interview today. He gave us an insight into what it's like running one of the biggest companies in the country, and shared many private episodes with us, including how he loves his wife's cooking and the love that she has for their children. Today, we're going to welcome the five new employees to the office. I hope that we'll all get along, and that way we can cooperate to make our company grow. Uh, why don't we get them to introduce themselves, huh? Hey, we don't have time for that. We gotta get started on our work. You can do all that talk when it's time for lunch break. Come on, let's go. We can't do any decent work here if we don't know each other properly. How about we at least hear what their names are and break the ice a little, huh? <sighs> How am I supposed to say no to that? All right, let's hear your introduction. How are we supposed to start with you uh, on the right-hand side, yeah? What? Me? Uh, okay. My name is Ch Ch Chinatsu. I only took a short course in college, so I'm still 20 years old. This is great! She's super cute and is so sweet and she's shy. Hey, don't flirt with the newcomers, alright? You're supposed to be a married man, be a little more serious, you're at work. I may be married, but I'm allowed to compliment people, you know, aren't I? I'm not asking for anything in return. I I'm looking forward to working with you all. Yeah, I am too. Oh great, Kazuyuki's letting himself get carried away again. He really loves flirting with women. Kazuyuki! I'm really sorry. Do you think you can buy some milk on your way home? I forgot to buy some when I went to the store today. What? Again? How many times are you gonna make me buy the stuff that you forgot? Why don't you just write a shopping list before you go? I'm really sorry. I've tried, but there are times when I can't concentrate because of the twins moving around. I forgot to write milk down on the list. Now you're making excuses? Is there anything else you need me to buy? No, just the milk. Thanks. <sighs> this happens all the time. Is something the matter? Will you listen to this? My wife told me to go and buy some milk on the way home. Can you believe her? I'm tired from work, so why do I have to go all the way to the supermarket? I'm not her slave. She should just go and buy it herself, you know? If she wants you to buy milk, then she must be thinking of making gratin or something with cream sauce tonight. I don't know, but she's not that good at cooking, and I can't really look forward to eating at home when she can't make the stuff I don't like. Oh, that's a shame. How about you, Chinatsu? Can you cook? Well, I don't think that I'm bad. I've been going to cooking classes for the past five years. It's pretty fun. Wow, really? That's pretty amazing. I want to try something that you made one day, okay? I don't even know what kind of milk I'm supposed to buy, but hey, uh, do you think that you can come with me and give me some advice? Uh, yeah, sure. If you're happy with my advice. Yes, great. It's a date. Here, I brought the milk. Uh, don't forget next time, okay? Thanks, Kazuyuki. I'm sorry I made you go after work. Yeah, it's fine. I got to talk to Chinatsu all the way to the supermarket. I got her number, too. Uh, oh, you bought a pretty fancy carton. Wasn't it expensive? I don't know what you wanted me to buy, so I asked for a recommendation. How was I supposed to know, you know? And you should have told me the brand that you wanted. So you asked a shop assistant? Huh? Oh, yeah. I asked someone in the, in the store, yeah. Shop assistants sometimes recommend the most expensive item because it's their job. You've got to be careful next time. You are the person that has to be careful. Don't forget to buy the milk in the first place. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> the bath's ready, so why don't you take a dip while I get dinner on the table? Hello, this is Chinatsu. Is this Kazuyuki? I hope I didn't get the number wrong. Hey, Chinatsu, thanks for messaging me. And thank you for coming to the supermarket with me today. I really needed your advice. It's no problem. How was the taste? Did you like it? It was 10 times better than usual. It really improved my wife's cooking, actually. I'm glad I was able to help. 
Hey, I was wondering if you would come with me the next time that I have to go and buy something. I wanted to get to know you better, you know? And it's better for my wife's cooking if you choose the ingredients that I should buy. <laughs> I'll treat you to lunch sometime to thank you. Yes, please. I want to get to know the other guys in the office, too. <laughs> I wanted to go there alone, just the two of us. I thought she was interested in me, too. Dang it. Hey, are you listening to me? Uh, hunt? What? What did you say? I was talking about your birthday dinner next week. I found a nice restaurant I thought you might like, and I was asking if you're okay with me booking a place for us there. Uh, yeah, sure, that sounds great. Let's go there. But I haven't even shown you what it looks like, or the menu. Are you really sure? I mean, does it really matter? If it's my birthday, then I'll just book it, and then we'll see what it's like on the day, okay? Can't you just do it yourself? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I come back home from work to relax. Can't you give me some space? I'm going to bed. Okay. Hey, Mom, have you ever worried about whether Dad might have been cheating on you? Or found something suspicious? That's really sudden. I don't think so. He's never let anything on. Oh, that's good. Then you guys must really be happy together. What? You're not saying that Kazuyuki is, are you? No, 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 no. He's not cheating on me. At least, I don't think he is. But he's just been really cold towards me this past week, and I was a little worried. He's been cold to you? And you don't think that's because of something you did? Did you say something to upset him? I don't think I did. I've been pretty normal. I know. It's probably just nerves. You're going to have twins after all. He's probably feeling the pressure. Pressure? When I was pregnant with you, there were times when your father got irritable and would snap when something didn't go as he had planned. He told me that he was afraid of becoming a father and whether he would be able to earn enough to make you and I happy. Really? I didn't know that. It's evidence that he's an honest man. Once you were born, he was back to normal. As for Kazuyuki, why don't you talk to him and ask how he's feeling? It's his birthday next week, isn't it? You could ask him then. Yeah, that's true. I'll see if I can ask him. Really? It's your birthday next week? Yeah, but once he passed 30, you sort of get sick of it. I'm not as happy about becoming one year older as I was when I was younger. Happy birthday, Kazuyuki! It's too early to celebrate, Jinatsu. It's next week. I'm one year younger this week, you know? Oh yeah, are you going to celebrate your birthday with your wife next week? On the day? Well, that's the plan. That's nice. Where did you and your wife first meet? Uh, well, I don't really want other people to hear, but I was just dared into chatting her up. What? It began with a dare? Yeah, it's not the usual kind of pickup. At the time, my friends and I were always daring each other to chat up random girls we saw. For example, we were always at this bookstore and we would always go up to random girls and what they thought about a certain book. Great. So? I did literature in college, so we had a lot of prior knowledge. I went to her to ask her something about a book, and I forgot what it was about, but we ended up talking for a long time, and I guess we kind of just clicked. So I asked her to go out with me sometime, and we dated. Does your wife know that you were just dared by your friends? Nope, I haven't told her anything, and I don't plan to either. Yeah, that's probably the right choice. She'd be pretty upset if she found out. Yeah, exactly. Hey, you guys have been spending a lot of lunch breaks together, you know? Oh, hey, Mr. Tanaka. You should be careful, Chinatsu. This guy's not as nice as you think he is. He's just a flirt. What's the harm in flirting, huh? I'm just a guy. I love women. I'm allowed to have a little fun. Yeah, yeah. You're always being super nice to the new girls, but once you're tired of them... <laughs> I'm just warning you, Chinatsu. You should stay away from this guy. There are way more fish in the sea and much nicer guys. I think Kazuyuki's a nice guy. He's always really kind to me. That's the facade he's keeping up. He's just waiting until you know the real Kazuyuki. See ya. You really think I'm a nice guy? <laughs> yeah, I haven't really dated any guys before. That's why I think I'm the type of girl that falls in love just as soon as someone's nice to me. I get really happy when a man treats me like this. Seriously? Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. I wish I could celebrate your birthday with you. Then why don't we go out to eat for a few days after my birthday, you know? Really? Can I? I can't wait. She's so cute, but I've got a wife. I shouldn't take this any further. Uh, if only I wasn't married. Do you get along well with your wife? Yeah, I guess so. We're just as friendly as the next couple. Do you love her? Or do you think you might be getting a little tired of her? Uh huh? What? Uh, I didn't know. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'm not as excited about going home to see her as when I first got married to her. But we, uh, we understand each other and there's a lot more to learn about each other from now on, so, uh... Oh, yeah, that's what marriage is. But I really wanted to celebrate your birthday on the day. Just the two of us. Uh... What? You were asked to go on a business trip next week? I'm really sorry. They told me that they needed me to check in there for a presentation. I'm really sorry. I'm gonna be gone for three or four days, so we can go out for dinner when I come back. It'll be a weekday, but I can ask for the day off, okay? Oh, that's a shame. Then I guess I'll have to wait a few days. 
It must be tough having to work on your birthday, too. If only you could get the day off. I know. I told them that I wanted the day off months ago. I can't believe that they could be so inconsiderate. I'm sick of it. Hmm. Hey, Chinatsu, guess what? My wife told me that she had to go back to her parents' house on my birthday for an emergency, so she can't spend my birthday with me. I don't have anyone else to spend my birthday with, so uh, will you spend it with me? What? Really? Of course, I'd love to. Let's go to have dinner. I know a great four-star restaurant. I'll pay for everything. <laughs> oh, you don't have to do anything special. I'm fine with just a regular restaurant. But that's not good enough. You don't have to worry. My daddy is friends with the owner, so he'll give me a discount. Let's go and eat as much as we want. It's a four-star restaurant. Aren't you a little curious? Uh, seriously? Your dad knows the owner? Doesn't that make him a really important person? Uh, the truth is, I've been keeping the secret from everyone in the office. But my daddy is the CEO. The CEO? Yeah, the CEO of the company we work at. Uh, what? You're kidding. No way. I'm really sorry I didn't tell you sooner. Then that means... This is amazing. Everything tastes perfect. I've never had anything like it. Really? I'm so happy to hear that. I haven't been here to eat in a while, so I'm glad you like it. You really are so rich that you can afford to eat at a place like this? Why did you get a job at our company? My daddy told me that I didn't have to work and that I could do whatever I wanted, but I thought it would be better if I got a job and had a taste of the real world and gained more experience while I'm still young. That makes sense. You're pretty smart. I've never worked before, so I was really nervous. But thanks to you, I've enjoyed my time at the company. You're a really good teacher. I'm super grateful to you for everything. You've been so nice to me. <laughs> I haven't done anything that you need to thank me for. That's not true. You've done so much for me. You've been a great guide. A master in the ways of being an adult. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't have to thank me that much. I'm really happy that I could celebrate your birthday like this too. If only we had the same birthday so that we could celebrate it together. Yeah, but this way we can celebrate on two different days. That's twice the fun. You're right. Then does that mean you'll celebrate my birthday with me? Of course. I don't know if I can find any restaurant that goes beyond what this one has to offer, but I'll try and do what I can, okay? If you're with me, then it's the sloppiest restaurant would feel like a four-star restaurant to me. Thanks. Uh, hey, Chinatsu, am I just a co-worker to you? Someone that just teaches you about how to work in the office? Yeah, that's about right. So, you respect me as a supervisor? Yeah. What about as a man? Uh, well, I, I don't... I'm in love with you, Jinatsu. I love you. I love you more than I love my wife. Kazuyuki? I'll break up with my wife, so will you marry me? I want to be with you. I love you too, Kazuyuki. I've loved you ever since we first met. I felt like we were meant to be together ever since I first saw you. Will you really divorce your wife for me? Of course, I'll do anything, but I'll probably have to pay her a lot of compensation and child support. I won't be able to provide a lot of money. Don't worry about that. I'll pay for it. If we can be together, then I don't care how much it costs. I'll talk to my daddy and convince him to give me the money. Uh, really? You would do that? Great! That's exactly what I expected from a rich man's daughter like her. Are you really sure you're gonna be okay with that? Yeah. Oh, but in return... Uh, wait, what is it? Is it okay if I call you honey? Of course you can. You can call me whatever you want. Yay, I'm so happy. All right, let's drink. We got the entire night together. Yeah. Three days later. I'm home. Hey, welcome back. You must be tired. I've got the bath ready for you. Uh, yeah. I thought about what you might want to eat for your birthday dinner, and I wasn't sure what you might like. But you said that you've been stuck on cheese recently, so I made a lot of side dishes with cheese. Was that okay? I made cheesy potatoes, steak with cheese, and some salad with feather cheese. There's lots more. There's something I want to talk to you about. Huh? What is it? I want a divorce. What? Let's break up, okay? I found someone else who I've fallen in love with, and I want to be with her, so will you divorce me? Uh, what about the twins? You can keep the house and the twins, and I'll give you all the money you want, okay? What's happened to you all of a sudden? Why? Did I do something wrong? Is that why you found someone else? Because I did something that annoyed you? I'll fix whatever it is. It's not you. It really isn't your fault. It's my own fault. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the day before we met. I told you that we were both destined to meet at that bookstore, but honestly, I was kind of just dared to chat you up on my friends. It was just a contest. I spoke to a load of other girls that same day. W what? A contest? Yeah, you just happened to be the first girl that didn't ignore my pickup line. I didn't care who actually responded, I just wanted to win the dare against my friends. It wasn't destiny or anything like that. 
I kept that a secret from you for a long time, so it was really tough for me to live with that. And now, I finally met another woman. Uh, the woman of my dreams. She's my soulmate. I'm supposed to be with her. And that's why I want a divorce. You're the worst. How could you? You said that you were ready to start a family with me. And now you say that another woman is your soulmate? What about our twins? Aren't they a part of our destiny? I don't think that it's my destiny anymore. Oh, really? So that's what you're really like. Those are your true colors. I'm sorry. I thought that I was the happiest woman in the world with you, but now I know that I was just being an idiot. We weren't happy. Goodbye, Kazuyuki. I finally said everything I wanted to say to her. I feel so much better. Chinatsu, I can finally be with you. We can be together. Just like that, Kazuyuki and I divorced, and I packed up my things and moved back in with my parents. I didn't want the house that I lived in with Kazuyuki. I explained everything that had happened to my parents, and they cried tears of pain and anger on my behalf. They suggested that I get revenge on Kazuyuki for what he did, but I didn't have the energy or the willpower. I was too full with fears for what might happen to me and my children in the future. I could only accept what had happened and try to give up on Kazuyuki. Before I could even sort my feelings out, my due date came, and I gave birth to two healthy girls. In the end, I decided that I would raise the twins with my parents at their house. Your name is Ron, and your name is Rin. You're both my greatest treasures. You're more important to me than anything in the world. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make the both of you happy. I'd do anything for the both of you. <sighs> Why are you yawning so much? No, uh, I was just thinking that I'm really happy. Don't be silly. What's wrong with that? It's good that we're living peacefully, right? You're going to be the next CEO, so I wish you'd be more aware of that. You've got to take this seriously. My daddy is expecting a lot from you. You've got to respond to that. Yeah, leave it to me. I'll become the CEO whenever he needs me to. I'll work really hard. Oh, you're so reliable. I'm so lucky. I've been promised the position of CEO without doing a thing, and I've got a really cute wife. I'm probably the happiest man in the world right now. What are you talking about? You're such a weirdo, honey. <laughs> Ten years later. Mommy! Look at this! It's for you! What is this? Is this a drawing of me and daddy? Yeah, it is! Isn't it good? Thank you. I'm going to pin this up in the living room so Daddy can see it when he gets home. Up next on the news, Mighty Robophone have announced at the launch date for their new and upgraded smartphone they've been hinting out for the past few months at a press meeting held on midday today. We were lucky to welcome Mr. Sato, CEO and the president of Mighty Robophone for an interview today. Look, it's Daddy. It really is. In the past 10 years since I had separated from Kazuyuki, I had a fateful encounter with the CEO of a major phone company and remarried. Unlike my first meeting with Kazuyuki, my meeting with my current husband really was a miracle, and I could finally say that I had met my soulmate. Five years earlier. What do I do? I can't find any work. I've got to get a job somewhere. Mommy, don't worry. D -d 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 don't mind, Michael. <laughs> you really like saying that, don't you? Is that comedian really funny? I have a feeling that's the only joke he has. He's probably going to disappear by this time next year. Hey, what's wrong, Rin? Where are you going? I heard the sound of money falling. Oh, it's someone's purse. It might sound like something out of a movie, but it really happened. I picked up a purse and looked up to see a man looking around until he caught sight of the item in my hand. It was probably because I was always going on about not having enough money, but my daughters had become sensitive to the sound of money. That sharp sense had led me to the wallet that my current husband had dropped. Five years after breaking up with Kazuyuki, I had met the handsome heir to a major company and had fallen in love. He thanked us for finding his purse and took us out to eat at a restaurant close by. We got to talking and found that we enjoyed a lot of the same things. Poseidon Bisayaki! Yay! <laughs> I'm really sorry about the noise. That's really no problem. They both have a good sense of humor. They're funny. I'm surprised that they like such obscure comedians. He would laugh with both of the girls and go along with the silly games they were playing. I was surprised that he liked the same comedians that they did. We're currently happy married, and the girls and I are being showered with so much love and luxury that I never could have imagined when I was still with Kazuyuki, or when I had only just broken up with him. As for Kazuyuki and his young wife... <sighs> What's the matter, Chinatsu? We're really starved for money. If only my pay would suddenly be doubled from next month, what do we do? I don't think we can do that. We've got to pay the employees, and we're not even paying them enough as is. I can't pay you more than I pay them. Yeah, so do something about that. You're the CEO. My daddy believed in you, and this is all you've got? You've completely betrayed his expectations. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. We've been in financial hell ever since you passed away so suddenly eight years ago, and nothing's improved. I thought that you would be our new hope, an 
didn't think you'd be this useless. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. If you had the time to apologize, then why don't you go and do something about our numbers? Y yeah, uh... I never expected that I'd suddenly become the CEO. I thought I would have more time to have fun, but this is just impossible. I haven't had any training, so how can I manage a... Uh, huh? Hey, Nina! Oh, Kazuyuki? Long time no see. Are those designer clothes that you're wearing? Those look pretty expensive. Oh yeah, I guess so. I got married to the CEO of Money Robophone, so I've got an image to keep up. What? You're joking. How did you meet? It was destined for us to meet. I finally realized what you meant back then. There is such a thing as fate. Uh, congratulations. I hear that the company you own is on the verge of bankruptcy. Is everything okay? How's your soulmate doing? Uh, well, it's pretty difficult. I'm trying, but it's not going too well. Oh, that's a shame. Tough luck. Uh, do you think that you could ask your husband to give me some advice on how to be a good CEO and keep the profits up? Uh, for old times' sake, you know? <laughs> sure, but he's a pretty busy man. I don't know if he can make the time to talk to you. Is he that busy? Then you must feel pretty lonely, huh? <laughs> well, that can't be helped. If you're really that lonely, then why don't we just start over, you know? We could get back together. What? My current wife is really weak to stress and takes her frustration out on me all the time. She won't stop shouting and she really scares me. I finally realized just how amazing a wife you were. Nina, would you get back together with me? I really do miss you and I regret what I did. <laughs> Nina? There's no way I'm getting back together with the likes of you. What? I said that he's too busy and doesn't have the time to talk to you because he'd rather do something more worthwhile than waste his time with someone like you. And me being lonely is because I love him so much, and not because he never comes home. You really think that I would get back together with you? Don't make me laugh. Wait, 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 what? You should be ashamed of yourself. I can't believe you have the nerve to suggest that. Oh wait, you're used to cheating on people, aren't you? You think that you can just throw women away when you're tired of them, and that you'll be forgiven for being so selfish. Shut up, don't look down on me like that! I'm not looking down on you. I don't care about you one bit. If anything, you're the one that was looking down on me first. Uh, Poor you. Now you know how it feels to be rejected. You're pathetic, Kazuyuki. I'm leaving. Where are you going? I'm going on a date with my husband. I can't wait to eat at the new four-star French restaurant in town. Goodbye, Kazuyuki. We'll never see each other again. Wait, please, don't leave me! Nina, no, no! Uh. After that, Kazuyuki's company went bankrupt. He shouldered a lot of debt in the process, but I don't know where he is or what he's doing and if he's divorced his wife or not. There's no way for me to know, and frankly, I'm not interested. I don't care what happens to him, but I hope that he gets what he deserves. Hey, Ren, tell me, who's your favorite comedian right now? Oh, that's definitely got to be Megaton Punch Man and Count Double Kick. They're the best comedians ever. That's not the name of the comedian. That's the name of a joke comedian made up. Do you want to feel a Megaton Punch right now? Ready? Come on, you three. Dinner's ready. Let's play eat. Play later. Okay. If there's one thing I'm thankful to Kazuyuki for, it's for giving me these two adorable and funny little twins. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't have had these two. And if it weren't for these two, I wouldn't have the life I have right now. I wouldn't have met the man of my dream. I've learned to be grateful for everything that comes my way. And I plan on enjoying the rest of my long life with my family. I'm not going to waste a single second.